Okay, today uh, Adam McMath will help us demonstrate the MC5, MacroCore 5 soil sampling system. First he's installing a cutting shoe on the sample liner here. That's a clear PV sample liner and the cutting shoe and now he'll install the liner and cutting shoe into the sample sheath and thread that in. And then next we'll take the uh, drive head and we'll install the drive head in the other end of the sample sheath here. Okay, so Adam is going to check level on the unit and, and level it up so we're driving plumb into the surface with the MC5 sampler. And raise the mass so he can position the sampler under the probe. He's going to put his rod wiper down so he can have the tools clean when they come out of the ground. And now placing the open shoe sampler here. So in this position, in this uh, setup, we don't have the closed piston. It's to open cutting shoe from the surface to five feet for this initial sample. Now simply advancing the MC5 check plumb so we get a nice straight sample and it's easier to trip it out of the ground as well. And here we go. And you want to hammer some as you're advancing the tool to be sure that the cutting shoe cuts the formation. So hammering as you advance is important. Again, checking to be plumb. And you don't want to advance too quickly. So now we've sampled from approximately ground surface to almost five feet. And the pull caps installed. Yeah. And of course, we set the weld mud in place to hold the rod wiper so our tools come out of the ground clean. And now go down and put the uh, bail over the drive cap, under the head of the drive cap, so we can pull the tool up. And retract the sample tube here. Now you can actually see some of the sample hanging out at the end of the sample tube. And next we'll go and remove the sample core from the sample tube here. Okay, now we'll just remove the cutting shoe and slide the sample tube and sample out of the uh, tool here. In this case, we only got about 50% recovery here. And there's a part of the sample that we dropped. So the first sample from zero to five feet recovered. And next we'll set up for the uh, closed piston sampling to drive down to five feet and then sample from five to 10 feet. Okay, so we have the solid drive point in the cutting shoe and Adam will install the solid drive point into the cutting shoe. There we go. And now he'll install the cutting shoe on the liner and insert into the sample tube the MC5 sample tube. Now with the closed piston we'll use an inner rod to hold that piston in position. And there's the inner rod and there's a little cap plug that goes on the end and that will help us hold our drive point in place as we advance the tool to depth. So Adam slides in the uh, 
inner rod with the uh, plug on the end. And now Adam places the, the inner drive cap on the inner rod so we'll hold the rod in position with the outer drive cap as we advance the tool to depth. Now Adam places the MC5 with the solid drive point under the machine. Places the outer drive cap on. And now with the inner rod and piston point in place, he'll advance down to the five foot depth where we've already sampled. So we previously sampled this interval. But with the solid drive point in place, you can push through. You can push through unsampled material if you want to sample at a specific interval. Say you wanted to sample from 15 to 20 feet, you could just use the solid drive point, drive down to 15 feet, and then remove the solid drive point and sample from 15 to 20. Here, what he's going to do is back up and trip out the inner rod. Let's get the extra rod to grab the inner rod with. And here we're just tripping out that inner rod that holds the piston point in place. So now the piston point is free to move. And now we take our next two and a quarter inch rod and put that on top of the sampler. Now we install the outer drive cap, position over the tool, and advance it from the uh, five foot to 10 foot interval. And the solid drive point will ride up on top of our sample as we advance the sample tube through the five to 10 foot interval here. So now we've advanced through the 5 to 10 foot interval with the MC5 sampler. It's the uh, rod wiper weldment in position. So we can uh, strip mud off of the tools. Now we're down at the uh, interval here and we're going to drive through the 5 to 10 foot, or excuse me, we're going to retract We've sampled over the 5 to 10 foot interval, and now we're going to retract. So we're adding a rod, and we'll use the rod grip handle to retract the tools. So now we're positioning to put the rod grip on the tools to retract the sample from 5 to 10 feet. And now the sampler's out.
So next we'll take the sample over to the uh, tool rack and extract the sample cord. Okay, now we'll just uh, remove the cutting shoe and pull out the sample in the sample liner here. Okay, looks like we'll have to push a little bit from the other end. There we go. And very nice recovery. Looks like full recovery on this sample. Okay. So now our expendable point, excuse me, our solid drive point should be on top of the sample there and we can recover that and use it on the next depth. Okay, so now we'll take the liner cutter, it has razor blades in it, and cut the liner open on the tray. Adam makes this look pretty easy. And then peel back the uh, cut off section of liner and there's your sample. Now you can do your lithologic logging and you can subsample to get an analysis at the lab. It looks like we got 100% recovery.